Since the pandemic began, people have been adopting more pets. Many of them are working from home, so it's easier than ever to bring a new pet into your life. Well, just in time for National Adopt a Dog Month and the upcoming National Animal Shelter Appreciation Week, the first week of November, expert advice on what every pet owner should know about owning and taking care of an animal. Joining us now, veterinarian Dr. Amanda Landis Hanna. Dr. Landis Hanna, thanks so much for being with us. We appreciate it. And uh, tell us why it's important to have every family member involved in the decision on getting a pet. Thanks, Dan. Just like you wouldn't accept a new roommate without consulting everyone else living in the household, you don't want to do that with a new pet. It's also important to keep in mind that pets can live 15 years or longer. So this is a long-term commitment. It's important to have insight and input from all of the family members. And once you do bring that pet home to allow each individual pet uh, family member to really get a chance to interact with that pet and become more comfortable. And what about pet proofing your home after you decide to adopt? So it's going to sound like an odd request, but I request that all pe new pet parents get down on hands and knees to the pet's eye level. So whether that's a dog or a cat, get down to their eye level and pet proof your home accordingly. You might notice things like power cords or electrical outlets that you might miss if you're looking from your normal standing view. Yeah, that's a good idea. Get down on the floor and look around. Uh, what about considering microchipping your pet? We've heard that is extremely important. It absolutely is. It's a great way to identify your pet if they ever get lost without their collar or tags. And you can partner with your local veterinarian to help make sure that that microchip is registered and active. And, and what about contacting a veterinarian such as yourself right away, uh, e even though that the pet may not have any illnesses? I think that that's a great idea. The same way that you probably wouldn't wait until you were sick before you contacted a doctor, it's great to have a veterinarian that you can work with in a very comfortable way, whether your pet is healthy or sick. It's important to potentially even take that time before your pet is sick to really get to know the veterinarian and find out the best ways to contact them, if they are open 24 hours a day, or if they work with a local emergency hospital. Hopefully you won't ever need to use those services, but it's always great to know a great veterinarian. And you really, I guess, should pay attention, as a pet owner myself, should pay attention to food requirements, which can change depending on the age of the animal. That's absolutely correct. The same diet that you might eat when you're a child may not be the same diet that you might eat when you're older. So it's important to keep in mind that as you change, so does your pet. As your pet gets older, they may have different nutritional requirements and need more omega-3 fatty acids, for example. Working with your veterinarian, they can help to identify the nutrients that your pet needs and help to let you know the best ways of getting those nutrients to your pet. Oh, all right. And, and of course, they always return with the conditional love, even though you might think it's a little bit of work. It certainly is worth it. All right. Veterinarian Dr. Amanda Landis-Hanna, thank you so much for joining us and have a great day.